So today we're again in my backyard and I wanted to introduce you guys to a couple of people that are going to help me today. This is Addie and Emma Krause and they're going to help me with a project that I have been wanting to do ever since I was a little kid. Can you guys believe that? That's a long time ago, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Katherine Ehrensberg. I'm Addie. I'm Emma Krause. And this is Simple Honest Design. Yeah, and when I was a kid, my mom had one of these in her yard and it was up on a tree in our backyard and she never did anything to it so I never asked any questions about it but I thought it was a really cool looking plant and so recently I started thinking about that plant again and I thought I gotta get one and then I looked into how to plant it and it's super easy and something that you guys can help me with so you wanna do that? Yeah. Does that sound fun? Mm -hmm. Alright let's yes. do it! <laughs> Staghorn ferns are kind of a funny plant because they don't need a lot of water or dirt to live. In fact, they aren't really planted at all, but rather mounted, usually to a piece of wood. I've cut a piece of scrap wood and already installed a picture hanger on the back. And now we're going to hammer a few little nails into a circle in the center of the piece of wood. Next, we're going to pull the plant out of the pot it came in and shake off some of the dirt, then place the plant in the center of the ring of nails. Use baker's twine and wrap the soil portion of the fern, but zigzagging back and forth and moving around the nails. The very last step is to add moss around the soil to keep the water in close to the roots. In a place like the deep south where we live, a staghorn fern thrives on little to no care by allowing the humidity from the outside air to be its water source. And that's all there is to it. I think the hardest part was actually finding a plant to purchase. Staghorn ferns bring back so many memories for me, and I'm hoping you can create your own memories with your children or grandchildren with this unique, carefree plant. Thank you guys for coming to help me today. This is something I've been wanting to do since I was a little girl, so I'm glad that finally now that I have a little girl and another little girl that will come to help, we can do it. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Katherine Ehrensberg. I'm Addie. I'm Emma Cow. And this is Simple Honest Design. Good job, girls. Finally! <laughs>